Good afternoon, everyone. So, tatapos lang ng Valentine. <laughs> Masasaya na naman ng mga kopo. Um, dahil kagagaling lang ng Valentine, may nakong hugot para sa inyo. Tagalog para mas uh, mas maganda. <laughs> ay naniniwala na meron kang matatanggap ngayong Valentine's Day sa taong nagmamahal sa'yo. Amen? May natanggap pa kayo? <laughs> Pastor, meron ako rin, meron. Hindi ko lang din alam. Meron umamin. <laughs> okay. No, nag-expect ka dahil mahal mo eh, di ba? Parang uh, in the same way, ganun din sa Diyos because uh, we all know that uh, God loves us. We expect something from Him. Amen? Ganun, pag minamahal mo talaga, mag-expect ka eh. Kaso, pag wala nga, medyo sad, di ba? <laughs> Pero sigurado yun pag uh, sa Diyos. So, I want to start uh, with this story about a little girl who brought an umbrella in a prayer meeting. Here's the story. A drug continued for what seemed an eternity. A small community of farmers was in a quandary as to what to do. So rain was important to keep their crops healthy and sustain the townspeople's way of life. As the problem became more acute, a local pastor, maybe Pastor Pat, no. a local pastor called a prayer meeting to ask for rain. Many people arrived at the church to pray for the needed rain. The pastor greeted most of them as they filed, as they uh, filled in, as he walked to the front of the church to officially begin the meeting, he noticed most people were chatting across the aisles and socializing with friends. When he reached the front, his thoughts were on quieting and attendees and starting the meeting. His eyes scanned the crowd as he asked for quiet. He noticed an 11-year-old girl sitting quietly in the front row. Her face was beaming with excitement. Next to her, open and ready to use, was a very colorful and extremely large umbrella, much bigger than her, in fact. The little girl's beauty and innocence made the pastor smile as he realized how much faith he possessed. No one else in the congregation had brought an umbrella. All came to pray for rain, but the little girl had come expecting God to answer. Amen for that. Amen. So, when we pray, expect that God will answer our prayer. Amen. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, uh, we thank you for this uh, opportunity that uh, once again, we will uh, meditate your word. We can hear your word. Father, open our hearts, Lord, and give us wisdom to understand the word that we're going to meditate this afternoon. In Jesus' name, amen. So, um, today, so, a few Sundays ago, Pastor Pat and Pastor Jude uh, taught us uh, knowing God and uh, make Him known. So, Pastor Jude said that uh, knowing God through creation, through, nakalimutan na, through conscience, through Christ, Christ amen, through Scriptures and the Bible study. 
through you as the image of God. So, and I hope we can absorb all of those things and suck into our hearts. Amen. So today I will continue my sermon series, Turn Nothing Into Something. Last time we talked about the vision of David, his dream was to build a house for the Ark of the Lord's Covenant. The first thing we have learned from David was he could imagine the possibilities of his vision. So in his mind, he could see the exact picture of the temple because God revealed it to him. So the Bible said, every part of this plan David told Solomon was given to me in writing from the hand of the Lord. So in the same way, we have to imagine the possibilities of our vision or dream for our church. Let us use our imagination positively for God. This afternoon, we're going to talk about believing. Believe, because to turn nothing into something requires faith. Amen. In our scriptures for today, we will find in the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 22 to 23, it said, Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in the heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. This is the word of the Lord. There are things that represent mountains in life. These are achievement, obstacles, responsibilities, tasks, path to success, success, and even loss. So all of these mountains in life requires faith for us to overcome those challenges. If you want to achieve your vision or dreams for God and for His church, you must have faith in Him and you have to know the potential that He gave it to you. You have to know what inside in you because if you don't have faith and you don't know the potential that He gave it to you, it's easy for us to doubt and give up. Give up our dreams. So the challenge for us is maximize your potential through faith in God and just believe. Amen. Our faith in God helps us to maximize our potentials. Remember Joshua at very young age, his potential of leadership maximized through his faith. He was able to lead the people of Israel go to the promised land. Church, listen to this. Especially teens. Where's the teens? Raise your hands. There are some teens done. The many teens are okay. So teens, listen. What is the significance of loving God and knowing Him if you do not believe His power in your life? Because God empowered us through our faith, for we are able to accomplish His purpose and achieve His vision for everyone. Amen. Look at the ants. Sa atin, pag nakakita tayo ng ants sa bahay natin, tingin natin yan, bugs, peste, di ba? Peste. No, pest. Kaya tumatawag na tayo ng mga, ano, uh, specialist para alisin yung mga ants sa atin. Pero uh, meron tayong uh, matututuhan sa kanila. So they are tiny and small but they can carry things heavier and bigger than their size. They have the ability to carry between 10 to 50 times their, their own body weight. They can also build their own house, or it's called Ant Hill. So, galit na galit tayo sa Ant Hill. 
no sa Pilipinas ang tawag diyan punso no punso kung tawagin yung ant hill so they have unbelievable strength do you know how many ants are in an ant hill do you have an idea so here are the facts that uh, I've got in Wikipedia. The colony was estimated to contain 306 million worker ants and 1 million queen ants living in 45,000 nests interconnected by underground passages over an area of 2.7 kilometers or 670 acres. That is amazing. They are small, they are small, but have a big potential to do great things. Amen. This is a lesson I have learned from the ants. We are bigger than ants, right? We are bigger than ants. We are bigger than ants. We are created by the image of God, and God given us potential more than the ants. All we, got, all we gotta do is to maximize our potential through faith in Jesus and we can accomplish great things or something extraordinary in the name of the Lord. Because God works for those who love Him and who loves in Him. Ano sabi ng song kanina? Even, even when you don't see it, you're working. Right? Even you don't feel it, you're working, you never stop, you never stop working. See? No? So, God works for those who love Him and who believes in Him. Jesus said to His disciples in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Amen. Jesus taught his disciples that they need faith as small as a mustard seed, for they were able to do the things just as Jesus did. Our faith in God help us to maximize our potentials. In my first year of my ministry, I was assigned in a mission church. This was at a remote place in a mountainous land. <clears throat> the source of living of the people there was farming. Our small chapel building made of nipa and bamboo and built in at the front yard of the house of the member. So ganun po kahirap ang mission church na yun. After a few months, I could see the need of the church to buy our own land. And we can build a chapel for the future. I told the members that they were, I told the members and they were hesitant because we did not have enough fund. During that time, the church was struggling for the budget and we had no savings. church And ayoko na sana sabihin to, pero gusto ko lang patunayan sa inyo kung gaano kabuti ang Diyos. Any single centavo, hindi ako tumatanggap sa kanila because I want to yung makaipon ng budget. In a single September, for two years, na naka-assign ako doon. So, um, nasa na ba ako? So, I told the members and they were hesitant because uh, we had no budget, budget. So, I told them, through my preaching, believe that God will provide almost every Sunday, ganun ang aking message. God will provide. Um, uh, God will make a way. 
and the Lord is our shepherd. Until I convinced them to buy our own land for the church and we started to plan and work for it. And after a few weeks, one of the members told me that there was a piece of land that uh, was for sale, direct from the owner. So the price of the, the land was only 21250 Mura lang, pero for them, mabigat yung 20000 Mabigat yung 20000 with the size of 4,250 square meters. Ang laki, di ba? Ang laki. Pero mura lang ang lupa doon. 5 pesos per square meters during the time. So every Sunday afternoon, I went to the place where I could see the part of the land and I prayed to God that He would give us enough money to buy this land. Pumupunta ako doon sa lugar. Nag-iisa lang ako, ayaw akong pinakakakita sa akin. Baka siguro napapagkamala nila ako noon na I'm out of my, my mind. Kasi nakaganyan talaga ako eh. They pray. Lord, ibigay niyo po yung, yung lupa na to sa akin. Nag-iisa lang ako pumupunta ako doon sa land. Totoo to, wala itong invento. Talong niyo man sa Diyos. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not kidding. Totoo yun, ginagawa ko yun. So, uh, wanted to make the story short, summer of 1997, we bought that land for our church. Amen. And uh, I will tell you the details, how can we bought that land next time? Yeah, para merong uh, suspense. <laughs> So one pastor said this, when we work, we work. But when we pray, what? God works. Amen. Hallelujah. Even our faith as the size of imperfect seed, it can make the impossible happen. If you want to achieve your dreams for God, it requires faith. Whether if it is big or small, all we need is a step of faith. Hallelujah. So, ganun pala yung kalit yung, ano, yung mustard seed, no? Napakalit talaga, pero merong potential na talaga mag-grow like a tree in the future, no? So, we need a step of faith. To take the first step of faith, it requires trust. Peter had experienced to walk in the water because of his faith in Jesus. Even it was only a few steps. No? Balikan niyo yung story. Even maybe it was only a few steps. The important is he tried to give his trust to Jesus and he could walk on the water. Pero lubog siya dahil nung nakita niya yung wind. No? But at least, no? experience and walk in the water. So Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, take the first step in faith. You, then, you don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. Even you don't see it. It's working. Amen. But take the first step. Let me read the story of how Joshua and the people of Israel can cross the Jordan River. In Joshua chapter 3, let's, let's start with verse 5, said, Joshua told the people, Consecrate yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things among you. Joshua said to the priest, Take up the Ark of the, the Covenant and pass on ahead of the people. So they took it up and went ahead of them. And the Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the eyes of the, all Israel, so they may know that I am with you as I was with Moses. 
Tell the priests who carry the Ark of the Covenant, when you reach the edge of the Jordan water, waters, go and stand in the river. Just imagine. Yung mga tao ito, maybe all of you, uh, sa buong buhay nila, hindi pa sila nakakakita ng tubig. Because they were came from the wilderness. And then sasabihin ng Diyos, tumapa kayo sa malalim na tubig. So hindi sila marunong lumangoy, maybe. He, he can't uh, swim. No? And here's what happened in verse 14 to 17. So when the people broke camp to cross the Jordan, the priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant went ahead of them. Verse 15. Now, the Jordan is at flood stage all during harvest. So malalim talagang tubig, flooded. Yet, as soon as the priests who carry the Ark reach the Jordan and their feet touch the water's edge, the water from upstream is stopped flowing. Amen. It piled up in a heap a great distance away and a town called Ada, Adam in the vicinity of Zaretan while the, wa while the water flowing down to the Sea of the Araba, that is the Dead Sea, was completely cut off. Amen. So the people crossed over opposite Jericho. The priest who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stopped in the middle of the Jordan and stood on dry ground while all Israel passed by until the whole nation had completed the crossing on dry ground. Amen. Sumunod talaga sila sa instruction ng Diyos. Talagang huminto sila. Maybe, maybe they, they, are, they, are, they were scared. No? Na baka mami, biglang bumalik yung tubig. Sila yung naiiwan dun at the middle of the, the river. So Joshua and the people of Israel was able to cross the Jordan River because of their faith. When they stepped out on the river, the water began to subside and they could walk through the river like a dry ground. Our faith gave us potential to do something ordinary. Through faith, we can do bigger things that we cannot imagine. Remember, God used ordinary people to do extraordinary things like Peter, Joshua, David, to fulfill his plan in their lives. And today, we're in, we're, we are in the line. We can also experience amazing things, amazing things from God if we will keep our trust in Him and we will take the first step of faith and believe that it will happen to our church and it will give glory for His name. Amen. Our Father in Heaven, give us a faith as small like a mustard seed. For we are able, Lord, to give our trust in you and to do, to accomplish amazing things, great things for your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.